video demonstration of how to upload your ShopStuff SD card till programming to your blank Sharp XCA217 cash register. So depending on what you've actually ordered, you should receive from ShopStuff an SD card containing your programming, possibly a keyboard layout, and some instructions on how to do the following procedure. First of all, we need to initialize the cash register. So to do that, we turn the till off at the mains, remove the printer casing, remove the battery cover, and double check that there's no batteries in place. If there are batteries, please remove them. And once the batteries are out of the way, we can turn the till back on at the mains, and when we get this option come up on the screen, simply press number one on the zero to nine keypad to select English language, and the machine will perform a master reset. The machine is now going to be defaulted back to how it was when it was first taken out of the box. When the machine beeps, the master reset's been formed and you get to enter some initial programming. So first of all, we need to put in the date in a six digit format and it's day, month, year. So for the 11th of April 2014, you simply type in 110414 and then use the arrow down button to select the time. And for 2.30 in the afternoon, simply type in 1430. When you put in your date and time, you can press TLNS five times to skip all the other programming. We're now at the main total screen and we've got the sign showing no battery. So we can enter the batteries into the case at the back and pop the cover back in place. Your till roll, I've already got some loaded, but if you haven't, you need to load your till roll paper. So we simply take the 57 millimeter thermal paper and load shiny side facing down, close over the platen arm, and then we can pop the printer casing back on, feed the paper through the receipt hole for it and tear off and we can now program the machine. To do this put the SD card in the SD card slot at the front of the machine, then press mode followed by number 7 and TLNS. This will take us into the SD card mode and we need to choose the correct folder. So to do that, we scroll down to line three using the arrow down button. And when folder control is highlighted, press TLNS. Then scroll to select folder, press TLNS again. And there should only be one program to choose from. So on this occasion, we've got the program Blair. When that's highlighted, press TLNS. We then press escape cancel once. And we now need to choose loading. So arrow up to line two loading, and when highlighted, press TLNS. We now need to choose line three, all RAM data, press TLNS, and again, when OK is highlighted, the machine will now access the data that we've programmed onto your SD card. The machine's now finished programming, so we can press escape cancel twice to return to the main total menu. We can remove the SD card and pop it somewhere safe, just in case you need it for future use. And we can check the machine's been programmed. If we grab our keyboard, pop that under the cover. Okay, if we now press one of the PLUs, we can see it comes up with the name and the price on the display, and we can cut our sale off. Then the one thing we can't program remotely is turning the receipt on or off, so the receipt will print out as default. If you want the receipt off, press function menu, scroll down to line free receipt SW, press TLNS, choose off, 
and you get a little R, highlighted R, and that means there's the receipt switched off. So if you process a sale, you don't get a receipt printing out all the time. And that's it. Thanks for watching.